Hello everyone, we are Ainoa and Alice, and today we are going to talk about levels of evidence. This video is a part of a series of research knowledge clips that are produced by ENFE. It is based on the five steps of our research cycle. We will focus our efforts on the third step, research, trying to explain why, what it is and why it is important, providing the spectators with some tools to better figure out the level of evidence of an article. So, what is the level of evidence? It is usually defined as a ranking system used to describe the strength of the results measured in a research study. I mean, when reading a scientific article, we are able to know if the information we retrieved has veracity, discovering in which level of evidence the study we are looking at is. The level of evidence depends on these three characteristics. The reliability, that is the ability to measure the precision of a measurement, the validity, that is the capability of measuring what is intended to be measured, and the research design. Now in this, we will determine which level it is. Many times these two concepts may be confusing because some articles can, um, can be valid or not and reliable or not. Let us help you to differentiate them. In the first scenario, the results are very different, so it's not reliable, and also the conclusions of the study don't adjust to our objective, hence it's not valid. The second example shows us a valid and not reliable study because the results are next to the objective, but very different between each other. The next one has similar results, being reliable, but they are far from the objective, so it's not valid. And finally, here we have an example of a valid and reliable study. Understanding the research design is important to know the way the study is conducted in the most important variables, populations, outcomes, measures, and timelines. Right before we dive into the explanations of the, of the levels of evidence, we need to know the main types of research and how they are conducted. A systematic review is an analysis of multiple research studies or papers. A control trial is a study that compares an experimental versus a control group with a specific intervention. Randomized control trials are the most strict versions of control trials, where the sample is classified randomly. Cohort studies are performed to investigate the causes of diseases, establishing links between risk factors and health outcomes. Case control studies compare patients with a particular illness and patients without it. And case series are articles where a group of case reports analyzing patients who were given similar treatment. Here you have a table showing the most used hierarchy in research designs. Depending on their strength, these different research designs are ranked into the hierarchy systems. Even though most of the research reviewers use slightly modified hierarchy systems, Oxford system could be used as a baseline to explain what the quantitative levels of evidence are. So why is it important to know the level of evidence of our research? For us, as students, it's important to, to value how trustful a source is. Because if you have found some information, you need to know how valid and or reliable it is. And furthermore, what evidence is not valid or reliable. It's essential to keep in mind what type of research study we are looking at to figure out the level of evidence. Now, you'll have some abstracts and your objective is to determine the level of evidence. Remember, pay special attention to the type of study. Now, it's time to play. You have 10 seconds to assert, ascertain the level of evidence beginning now. Okay, and the level of evidence is obviously level one. Let's go to the second one. You have 10 seconds beginning now. And the level of evidence now is level four, as it is a case series. Next one, beginning now.
and as it is a systematic review of cohort studies, it's a level 2A. Next one, beginning now. It is a level 5 because it's an expert opinion. And the last one, And of course, it is a case control, so it's a level 3B. Hope you have had a good time, and thank you. Thank you.